Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Desperate Measures. You have Hi. made it into Tassel. Let's, uh, let's go see the wizard first. See if he can read those papers for us. All right. That sounds like a swell idea. Really wondering what those papers are? Who knows what they could be? I don't think he's the sort to go out of town much, so I don't think we have to worry about someone popping in on our lead first. You find the wizard here, uh, Fizzib. Yes. Uh, greetings, Mr. Fizzib. Jeb. Uh, I have a uh, request for the services of an educated man. And I'll pull out the papers. Mm-hmm. We found these and, well, I, I want to know what they, we were wanting to know what they say. And I figured if there's anyone who could read this in town right now, it would obviously be you. P takes the papers and reads and kind of shuffles between them kind of quickly and then hands them back to you dismissively saying, notes of a priest about mm. ceremonies. Ceremonies, that is unfortunate. I appreciate your time, sir. Mm. We did see some elephants outside Really? Um, yes, we were, obviously the three of us were not able to take one down, so we didn't even try. But uh, you did say something about a, a lightning, lightning bolt spell the other day, so I'm just letting you know there are elephants in these plains. And, and they weren't much more than a, a half day's travel, I don't suppose, that you could probably still catch them. They were just south of the road. I ain't gonna be heading north on that road for a little while. Messenger, or uh, a man came through earlier on a horse. What did he say? He said he saw something unholy and demonic up near Stromheim. Unholy? Oh, he Lord. said he ma saw a man with no head riding a horse and steering it. Not just galloping away. A man. A man without it. He, he was headless? Headless. And this horse was being steered as if Brains it was... Reins were moving, arms were moving, just like a regular rider, but no head. He turned around and he bolted back as quick as he came. Uh, You'll find him awesome. down at the bottom of the staircase. He is waiting for the next boat as close to it as he can get and leaving. I don't blame him. Well, that's we just, I don't maybe know. Maybe we should. We, I, we can I go. appreciate your time, Mr. Fizzid. Oh, absolutely. I appreciate your time. Mm. Uh, you find uh, anything Mr. else of interest? Well, I, I did have another curiosity for you. Have you ever been south towards Pittsburgh? Mm. Not yet. We ran into an interesting woman. Interesting old lady. I suppose. And Name I just... Ms. Hagatha. I was down. bleeding and she licked my leg and I didn't feel too good about that. <laughs> it was quite odd. Do not be shy by a woman's touch. There's usually nothing harmful meant by it. The tongue was kind of long. It was, it was rather peculiar, my friend. Well, yeah, that, that's all. Thank you. Thank you for the time. There was also a, a minotaur down there. That you had don't created say. A, that had created a labyrinth and was taking people, killing them, putting them in the labyrinth. You get those minotaur horns, you and I can do some business. Hmm. Minotaur horns. Uh huh. Keep that in mind. Anything we'll else from Minotaur, just the horns. Hooves would behoove oh. you to get as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Very well. Some, yeah. Add uh, some fur. Some fur. Well, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think I'm quite capable of doing that. 
in the near future, but I'll keep I'll keep you in mind if we do go back south again. He nods. Um. Now, okay. As we poke out the door, I want to stop Jeb. Well, if there's a headless rider in your Strongheim, I don't know if we're ever going to be ex- be able to exchange these coins. I don't um, think we are either, unless we can sneak around it. The the man explicitly mentioned something unholy. This seems like a uh, it seems like a job for our Mr. Ebner. Unfortunately, he doesn't seem to be uh, with us at the moment. Uh, seeing as he is a cleric of Tempos. Uh, ooh, ooh, that is a good point. It would take a holy man to bring down something that unholy. That is uh, true. Well, I I think before we we go bothering Ebner, he seemed off awful, awful busy. Maybe we could figure out what that gem was worth. Maybe we could. But we could let's talk us. with that that horse, the the messenger, before he leaves. Get some more oh. information on that. That's true. He could be getting on a boat any moment. Yeah. So we'll go down and uh, talk to the messenger, I think. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, if we can catch him. Yeah. Sure. You find him. He's at the bottom of the staircase. Uh, his horse has already been unsaddled and brushed down, and the messenger's take, taken off most of his clothes and is washing his feet um, by dipping it into the the canal at high tide when the, the water levels come up almost all the way to the dock. He sees you guys coming and uh, takes a look at you. Uh, sorry, I almost ran you over on the road. Had to, had to keep going. Gotta go fast. I, I, I understand. We, we heard what you saw. That is most unsettling. Uh, but on that note, I was wondering if you had any more information than what we had heard. Well, what'd you hear? That you saw a man without a head steering a horse. That's north, about right. Up north, north towards Stromheim. Holding Areas. a sword, too. Holding a sword? A sword. In a hand. And look. This ain't no prank, all right? I got a good look at this sucker. Mm Mm-hmm. No head, sword in hand, steering Mm -hmm. a horse. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Some sort of ghost or ghoul or zombie or skeleton or monster or something. Did you see this thing? Did you see this thing rolling around at night? Was it daytime? What were you doing when you saw it? Daytime. I was walking my riding my horse slowly towards Stromheim when I saw this thing headed towards me from a good distance. I stopped, got a good look at that thing, and that's when it raised its sword and I turned around and I did not stop pushing my horse until I got here. Almost rode I her near to death. You. I do not blame you. Were you able to get to Stromheim at all or you, you turned mm-hmm. around before you got there? Oh, yeah, I, I turned back real soon. Uh, I didn't get more than... I don't know. Halfway between Cauldron and Stromheim? Not even. Mm. Hmm. Well, that is rather unfortunate, to say the least. Well, being a messenger, did you not have a message for somebody in Stromheim? I was... Hoping to make some overtures and mm. maybe move to Stromheim. Oh. Like y'all, I'm from Mistria. My Eridonian yeah. is terrible. But I had this bright idea. Mm-hmm. There's all this countryside around here. No one's living in it. Maybe I could uh, beg some land off one of the nobles. I feel like I could, if I had prop land, could build up a, a nice little fort bring me and my people and put them there and live here in Eridon. No more dragons, no more taxes. I mean, eventually, some lord will come by and demand taxes, but fresh well, start. Yes, I'm, it I'm can't sure be worse than Scoria. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that does sound like a good dream. But I don't know if there's headless horsemen riding about. Well... I don't know about all that. Certainly ain't gonna make my town in Cauldron, that's for certain. So you got any plans for where you're going next? I'm headed back home. 
Mistria. I'm from uh, north near Slagmire. Ah, uh, okay. We're from Latrine. Unfortunately, Haven't heard uh, of it. well, excuse me, these two are from Latrine. I'm from other parts of uh, Mistria, but uh, yeah, I do hope you find better luck and uh, no headless horsemen wherever you're uh, riding to. Next. Had you previously made it to Stromheim before? He shakes his head. Yeah. No, no, I've tried doing the the monster slaying thing. Went out with a couple of my buddies. They didn't come back. Figured maybe don't want to fight everything. Maybe uh, just make a new home. Didn't work out. Have to defend it anyway from monsters. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think I'm cut out for this swords and sorcery nonsense. Uh, I understand. Oh, yeah, it has proven itself to be a very difficult laugh. I would agree. The it's hard to day. claim life for one of our friends. Yeah. We All saw right. Well, we want more of your time. It's a hard laugh. I'm sorry. Yep. Yep. Well, good well, luck, y'all. And you too, my friend. Good luck. Good luck to you as well. Okay. He shakes your hands one at a time and uh, continues, goes back to washing himself off. And uh, mm -hmm. as you make your way back up the staircase, you can hear him splashing around in the canal to clean himself. Okay. <clears throat> well. Uh, about how long to, do we have until taxes are due? Uh, today yeah. is, by my calculations, the 19th of January, 1512. So, you've got until the 31st, um, and you do have that gem. Yep. Right. So, boys, I don't like making this decision with Mr. Edna being so busy, but we would have 12 days to get to Stromheim and back. Hmm. And it took us, what, about two days to get from slightly north of Cauldron. Uh, excuse me. Back to Tassel. There's that headless horseman up on the north road mm -hmm. well maybe we could uh use this gym to uh to cover since we don't have ebner around I, I i don't quite see him or know when he's coming back but the town needs its money the town does we, need its money i don't do think we've got it happen we've got enough time to circumvent this headless horseman and make some money so here's what i'm thinking we give the gem to mr garrett to send back home. Mm -hmm. And then we start making off towards Stromheim, hopefully finding something along the way that we, that when we get to Stromheim, we can exchange for silver or gold and then come back. That That is true. Uh, well, that, that buy us uh, about another week, about another two weeks, so we'd have six weeks to get back to Tassel. Mm. Uh, but Mr. Ebner wouldn't know where we went if we left now, though. That is true. Well, I was wondering, do we know how much this gym is worth? That's kind of been my, my peculiarity. Know. We need to... It's we very need shiny. To... It's worth more than anything I've ever owned. Ah, that's very true, but it's not much harder to own much more than rags, my friend. Unfortunately, I only worked in a silver mine. I wish I could appraise it myself, but uh, I have no idea what I'd be looking at. Um... Is there anybody in Tassel that would know just how worthwhile? I don't know if Mr. Garrett, if we give that gem to Mr. Garrett. Uh, it's either is Mr. Garrett or Mrs. Mr. Fizzit. Would Fizzit know what that gem is I, worth? I don't know. I, all I know is he knows more than I know. Um, nah. Most things except for Hun. Well, do we want to try, to try to give it to Mr. Fizzit and see what he can make of it? Or we could give it to Mr. Garrett. He is a fair man. I don't think he would cheat us out of anything, so. That is true. We can we can see. Yeah. Or, I mean, uh, how about this? This might not be the, the most straightforward, but we could ask Mr. Fism and then Mr. Garrett what their prices are and see maybe if to make sure that we're getting the correct deal. Hmm. Mm. I don't know. I think that that smells to me too much, like, we're trying to undercut Mr. Garrett, and you know, his, you know his temper. 
that is true. We should we should probably just give it to him. You're right. That's that's yes. good thinking there. Just talk talk right to Mr. Garrett. Well, that's why you do the talk, my friend. Oh. Absolutely. You know this man better than uh, than I do. You two have uh, seemed to have dealt with him before, so uh, I'll uh, I'll defer to you. Yeah. So yeah, we'll go to Garrett. All right. You go to Garrett with the gem. Yep. Okay. Well, good afternoon there, Mr. Garrett. Afternoon. Went outside to Pittsburgh. Um, I do not recommend going there again. Why not? Because there was that light you said is carried mm -hmm. by this very strange old woman. An very old woman. Famous. Her name was Ms. Hagatha. Something just was not right about her. Hmm. Uh, he got bit by a leech probably about yay big. Uh -huh. And uh, she came up, she said something about him being hurt, and then she licked it. Uh -huh. and she she said, licked her leg that was bleeding, and then she wrapped it up in bandages. That, which... That's enough. I've heard enough. I still yeah. have dinner to oh, eat. I, oh, I felt I'm... enough. I, I can imagine. Well, yeah. strange women I'm... hanging around in bogs, handing out bandages, ain't no way to make friends. Let me tell you that. That is the source of a lot of you're curious. She called it her bog, and uh, she said something about a minotaur in the area. That really? He, like, I'm sits up and takes notice of this. A minotaur? With, uh, yes, with a, a labyrinth shit. full of dangers and shit. I didn't want to tax it. Um, I also saw some elephants out nearby. Big old pack of them. Well, an elephant is worth is quite a haul, but it's a hell of a risk. It is one hell of a risk. One unlucky step, and that thing will gut you like a fish, so... Yeah. But that Minotaur, I mean, they're, they're dangerous creatures to be sure, but they're reasonable. Reasonable, but I don't know. I don't know about this labyrinth. What, what is labyrinth? It's a maze, a person-sized maze. Mm. Twisted turns and corridors, traps, dead ends, pitfalls. A little mm. minotaur looking around a corner with an axe to chop your head off or gore you with its own horns. They are crafty creatures who never get lost in a maze. I see. And who also happen to hoard treasure. At least, that's the stories I've heard mm, of see. these rogue minotaurs. Not those ones down in Minotauria. Seems to be a completely different breed up here. Yeah. Well, she well, did she... say he had gone quite mad. He um, nods an understanding. When uh, we well. were down in Petersburg, we did find this. I'm gonna pull out the gem. He cocks his head to the side and looks at it and goes, huh. Shit. Do you know, do you know how much this is worth? He looks at it for a long time, weighing the options in his head and goes, I don't. It's not don't. clear. It's got color. I'm sorry. It's clear and it's got color. So it's mm -hmm. probably worth something. Probably it's something. pretty good sized. I don't have a. I could probably yes. give you a um, hundred GP worth for it. I don't know if it's worth more or less than that, but I would I would be willing to gamble it's worth at a hundred GP that I could trade in. Oh, that's an entire t month of taxes. It is. It is. We could use a little time. Maybe you could make some armor for yourself, or maybe rework some of this as well in that month. It might be some some good quality time. We could get get a little ahead here. We could do that. Maybe Mr. Ebner would be back by that time as well. Uh, I knew, you know he's a pretty busy man, but hopefully at that time he'd be back. Absolutely. Well, really, we we don't. If we go south again. Well, we can discuss this later, fellas. Do we want to trade in this gym? 
I don't think we're gonna get better than a hundred GPs worth out of it. Yeah, uh, I don't. No, I agree. No, if this'll, if this'll please the lady for a month, it please the lady for a month. That is true. We should, we should probably send it back. Yeah. I hate that goddamn dragon though. Yeah, we should be, I, I agree, but uh, I, be careful, ears are everywhere. Careful what you huh? say. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure the, the good lady is most fair. Uh, always fair, always. Got, got this like scared look. Yeah. I say that under my, I say that under my breath, but uh, mm. yeah, I'm, I'm aware that, that most people don't have that. I'm aware that most people don't share that same vision, but yeah. Or if they do, they don't, they don't share it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so out of character, we're getting rid of this and for the yeah, month. We'll give it to, we'll give it to Garrett. And... You give it to mm-hmm. Garrett and he yeah. will send it back. He will exchange it for money and send back a hundred GP, the right amount of money for a month's pay to your, your town. And you won't have to worry about it. I'm going to mark on the calendar that this week is a page. You get a gold star next to the month Yay. of January. Yay. There goes the other gemstone. <clears throat> yep. Well, thank, thank you for your time, Mr. Garrett. We might be back later for some supplies, but I, I think we've got some, some things to figure out here. Yeah. And I think we saunter on out. Oh yeah, we also, right. we also have those, uh, those. Uh, oh yeah, the two spearheads. Oh, so you could right. Probably trade. Oh, yeah. Like, I think last time you said they're worth 50 copper. Yeah, yeah, you could turn them in and get 100 copper from it. 100 copper. All right. Mm-hmm. Boys, we have 100 copper to spend. What do we, what do we want to spend it on? Great. Mm-hmm. Um, I do we want to get into get one thing before you answer that question. Yeah. All this money you have, you can either choose to keep it in coinage on your person um, if you want, or you can leave it with Garrett as like a bank. Um, and I want to just make sure, I want to under, I want you to understand that that is a, an option that you can have here, that he will function as a bank so you don't have to carry cash because okay. you're going to be building up. You're not going to want to walk around with 20 pounds of coins on you yeah. eventually. So at your yeah, leisure, you can leave stuff with him. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do with this is exchange it for a hundred copper. Okay. Copper credit or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So we have 180 in the bank. All right. I have created a character sheet called Garrett's Bank that you oh, all have access to. In, so on the character sheet you gave us, it says Horde. Oh, Wealth and Horde. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. Oh, nice. Yeah. And you don't need so the Garrett's Bank sheet. Yep. Um. Well, before we get to spending it, what what all materials do you need to work on your leather? Maybe this would be a good time to get get your needs met here. That's true. I'd I'd only be able to make one uh, chest piece out of that, wouldn't I? Mm Mm-hmm. You could, out of the the elk that you have? Yeah. Yeah, you could get one chest piece. Yeah. The only problem that out of that elk is that it's not as tough as your, or the, the leather is not as tough as your hide armor. Could I actually take the hide armor, turn it into leather? Because I feel like it's bulky and whatnot because of all the, there's no mm-hmm. work into it. Right. But I could turn one set of hide into a full set of leather, which should provide a roughly equal amount. I think with the, the hide and the elk together, you can create one set of full. But the hide is sort of like, it's raggedy. It's not well cut. It's like strips, so it might not have the full well, sections yeah, that you the, need. Mm-hmm. I could use the... Uh, the elk is the chest piece, and then use the hide for like the arms, Perfect. the limb. Yeah, yeah. Head. Yeah, so if you give me a successful leather working check, um, you can spend the next week I'll making take it. A week, uh, and a half. week and a half, so you can do it at a regular check. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm going to need all the help I can get. <laughs> leather working is an int check. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Boys, there's no guarantee with this. Uh, I think you give you your best shot, Jeff. I believe you. in you. We're gonna need to go out and uh, probably do some punting. Well, I it wouldn't be the worst thing. I'll go out with you. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate that, but what I'm saying is, go out. But it's gonna take some time to make it, as you can see. 
Well, maybe, maybe uh, I need to spend some time here in town taking it a little easy for a couple of days for sure. Yeah. Maybe I think, I'll take it easy. Maybe I can look for some game for you to, well, you'll be working on the leather. You won't have time. Yeah. But maybe I can, maybe I can give it a go, but I'm not so good at it. Yeah. Well, how, how about this? Uh, I, c I can show you how it, how at least I do it. So you can stop picking up on it and you can help me. Well, I, I'm a pretty quick fellow. I could probably try to give you a, a hand with this. I don't. I don't see why not. In my downtime. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's right. do it. Make me a check, a leather working so check. What happens if I fail this? Uh, let me read my document. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Due to the nature of leather working, cutting, boiling, hardening, etc., the leather used in an unsuccessful sub piece or section cannot be reused. So if you fail, you've ruined the leather for this purpose. Shit. I mean, boys. There's more animals. There's more animals. Um, do have this fox pelt. So it's going to be difficult to sell this. So, ooh, maybe. Before I get working on this, um, I'll go back to Mr. Garrett. Guys, I've, I've got an idea. Maybe we can uh, get something out of the, do some roundabout fur trading. I know, well, you know you like the fancy furs. Well, you know, I'm not much of a talker. I think I'm gonna leave this to you and go sit on the bank. Okay. That 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 axe okay. that that guy hit me with is still just not feeling so good. It's been so I, many. I understand. Times. I understand. So yeah, I'll go up to go back to Garrett and be like, Mister Garrett, I've got a question for you. Hmm. Um. In all your times of selling things to the higher folk, mm -hmm. have you ever known them to like uh, good quality furs for a enough of a price that it's worth my time? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll pull out the fox pelt that I got the other day. And so something like this. Yeah. You skin to... it right. And uh, I'll buy it. I mean... You probably already have skinned it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Knowing it's you. Yeah. a fox pelt. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. How, how much would uh, how much would this go for? Let's see. Right. Give me a moment here. Two hundred copper. Two hundred copper. Mhm. Mm I can take that deal. That is great. I will be back with more furs in the future. Thank you for your time, Mr. Garrett. Mm-hmm. And do you uh, sell it to him? Oh yeah, for two hundred copper, we need that sure. money. We need it bad. All right. Two hundred copper will give oh. you some breathing room, allowing you yeah. to purchase all sorts of needed supplies. Bye. Two days of dry ration for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> Also, do you need arrows? Are you out of arrows yet? I'm not out of arrows yet, but I'm getting mighty close. Okay. I've only got like 14 and it's like 15 copper per arrow. Yeah, it's expensive. So, that's a very expensive. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Yep. So I'll go back and boys, I've got some good news. You know that uh, Joker. Remember that fox that killed that one time? Oh, yeah. That was a hell of a shot. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I just sold that pelt for 200 copper. 200 copper 200 copper boys i think uh if i as long as uh i kill everything carefully um i should also buy some snaring supplies so you know that way i can snare the small animals like a, a fox or something and you know just give it a quick old bash over the head with the club save the pelt it's getting up Don't all make nice. oh yeah make some good money off that maybe find some wolves maybe even a bear if we're feeling ambitious Oh, that's getting awful, awful up there, my friend. Oh, maybe I, maybe I, I'm just feeling a little down. Let's let's revisit that if we find a bear. Well, I mean, yeah, if, if we find a bear, I'm talking about like get some fox pelts. Oh, uh, yeah. Do some seal clubbing, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, well, I'm kind of, I know there's the woods up here to the north. 
um, I wonder what's hiding out on them. I know that the uh, those giants went past that one time, but they didn't yeah. seem to go into the forest. Yeah, there is also it's, it's kind of wooded near the Mirand Lake. Uh, you could we could see what's up there. Then them little critters love the lake. Oh, that might be better. Every animal does need its water. Mm-hmm. But uh, let me spend about let me spend that week and a half uh, trying my hand here at this leather. And it, it took me several tries to get my this shirt myself, but depending on what we find, I could either sell it to Mr. Garrett or, well, at least we have food for a couple of days. Yeah, that is true. Well, you, you can have this hot armor and give it a go. I, I think that's the best way to go. All right. I, um, you, I'm sorry. Uh, so, Joka, are you giving him the hide armor that you had? Yeah, okay. I'll give him my hide armor. You can keep so, yours on. Basically, okay, cool, for I'm... him to have armor still, I need to roll a 14 or higher. Gotcha. Okay. On the die. Okay. It if, it a... if it fails, he's back to zero armor. Mm -hmm. Right. And then in that case, I don't know if I could uh, contribute the hide armor that is on me to try and make no. another attempt. That's why we'd have to go back on another hunting mission. Okay, gotcha. Cool. All right. Do it. Do it. Stop delaying. Roll the dice. Is there any way... Well, he asked if I could help him. Is there any way that I can actually mechanically help him? No. No, no. Not mechanically. no way in hell. I'm trying... When you hit level four, I'm trying to get you to be able to take a leather working proficiency so that way you can do it instead of me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We'll put that in the master plan. Yeah. We'll type we'll it on that, in there. We'll put that on the back burner there. Yeah. yeah. Your help basically has no effect on my role. Okay. I was just trying. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right, boys. Here we go. Big money. Big bucks, no whammies. <laughs> all right it works out you spend a week and a half doing it taking your time making sure to get the details right most of that extra time is like taking the improvised tools you have and turning them into something usable and yeah. like going around and be like hey everybody i need to collect your piss for a week so i can yeah. you know properly do the blah 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 with the leather um i don't know what it is used for but it they used it for something sure um, Accurate. Yeah. So, after a week, you get a nice clean set of boiled leather. Um, Perfect. A full yeah. set of leather armor. Yeah. How much AC is that? Three AC, but it only—it's the same AC as hide, but it only weighs nine pounds. No, fifteen pounds instead of thirty pounds. It's half the weight. Perfect. Oh hell yeah. Okay. Cool. Perfect. And, and to be clear, you're giving this back. Yep. Oh yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Takes it for himself. Mine. It's mine now. All right. After well, all this love and care, you never know. Sometimes you get attached to stuff. No, no, no. I, I, I would say I'm more attached to you guys living and having friends than having a nice set of armor. Yeah. That's good man, kind of you. Yeah. It's awful kind of you. Yeah. Okay. So that will take us through most of January. We will pick up on the 29th is when we will start next i think at this point we should wait for mooton to come back uh, we could go on a hunting trip yeah. yeah we could do a short hunting trip do you guys want to yeah. go yeah. grab some yeah. game yeah i was Absolutely. hoping we go north a little bit we hadn't been in the dollar uh, with the food. before we go out i'm gonna buy hunting supplies so that way i can mm. set up snares and shit Ooh. Uh, like try and find fox or other small animals like some beavers. People like beaver pelts. Mm -hmm. so that other small woodland creatures that rich people like to make clothing out of. Right. Oh, can he redo that check at like the same now for his leather? Uh, yeah. Yeah, now that he has successfully made a good proper working suit of leather armor, if you have similar supplies, you won't need to make the check anymore. You can just repeat nice. it, repeat success. Um, so you have an extra suit of hide right now. If you can get a little bit more uh, material, then you should be able to create, like if you can get bring down another elk, you can just do another suit of armor with a, a week and a half, no check needed. And then bringing down a smaller, not necessarily an elk, but a smaller animal, I'd be able to finish out the limbs for my armor set. Yeah, definitely. Dope. 
I have kind of a lame question. Is there um is there a place so we have so Garrett off uh acts as the bank for us. Is there a place in Tassel where like we can stow things? Or is it just, just money? Uh, he will hold, you know, keep money money for you in a ledger, like a proper bank does. Uh-huh. It's not necessarily there. If everyone tries to take out money at once, it, you, it'll go bankrupt. Um, right. He doesn't have, like, an item to repository for you, but you could probably dig a hole somewhere and mark it and, like, create your own hidey hole. Okay. Okay, I got you. Because I'm currently carrying, like, everything from my previous character right now. And I mean, I'm not mm-hmm. encumbered yet, but, like, it's, you know, it's just, I'm just trying to think ahead, that's all. No, yeah. you're good. Um, yeah. So how much would the hunting supplies cost for, like, to be able to set snares and whatnot? Just rope, right? Uh, you you'll want, fly, like, right? rope. You'll want some string. Yeah, um, probably more string than rope. Yeah. Defer, it depends on the sort of like game you're looking for. If you want small game string, if you want large game rope ish, you wouldn't be able to hold down an elk with some string, is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, oh, yeah. You use, use uh, snares and stuff like that for the smaller stuff, like a box. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think in your situation, you'll just need some string and a knife to improvise other materials that you'll Got need along knife. the way. Um, I don't know. That sounds about right. Okay. So how about I just throw like three pounds call yeah. hunting supplies? Yeah. Well, and, let's just do three pounds of hunting supplies. And, and uh, uh, how much does it cost? Let me just look up some prices here real quick. Oh, it's called twine instead of string. Okay, twine. you're gonna want more twine than that. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, yeah. If you want, like, uh, we'll say you're also gonna need like a razor blade and maybe like a small stone to sharpen the blade, and there'll be other it. little I, things that I can't imagine right now that you'll need. Um, but we'll, it'll probably come up. So why don't we say it's three pounds worth of gear it includes like a bag that it all holds in and it costs like uh 150 copper and it'll have like everything that you could need for bringing home small game you know unless it's like i need an iron spike or something sweet so yeah i'll spend that um all right boys let's go out and let's uh let's make us some money I'm glad everyone's looking better after those last fights. I'm glad we took this week to kind of recover and, and get back to full. I'm glad we, we all spent that time. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, yeah, uh, absolutely. Wh- hey, Neil, in Tassel, mm-hmm. is it all burned down or is it broken buildings at all? Or There's broken all- buildings, yeah. Like the last place you're in, some of them are still slightly standing, but they're kind of so burned out that they're practically useless. So, because anyone if someone had like... Well, I was saying, if somebody had the ability to, like, work with wood, like, um, carpentry, could they, like, rebuild one of these if they had the proper wood? Sure. I think if you had the proper wood and the labor and the time, you could rebuild these. But, like... Well, just, like, a small one for, like, a small house to make a little a hut out of. Let's say when we go up, up to these woods here in just a second, that mm-hmm. our hunter goes to hunting, our lumberjack goes to lumberjacking. Mm-hmm. And um, our nice, strong man, who's a good carpenter, could carpent his way to victory here. Yeah, could be done. Sure. All right. So you want a hunt, he'll hunt game. You'll chop wood, bring it back, and he'll build a domicile for y'all. Yeah, and he'll fix up the the most the easily the most easily fixable building in town. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. That way Tom's cool. not burying stuff in the ground. We've got something to do while he's hunting other than just following around like lost puppies. Perfect. Yeah, that's not- perfect. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Excellent. Well, uh, give me that hunting check. See if you come across anything while the Couple other guys. Checks, this uh, is a trip. Well, let's start with one at a time. OK, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. So not your so first hunting foray is not too good. Uh, also, tell me which direct... Uh, you guys are probably going north, right? Because you yeah. want north to be near wood. Right 
Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So the first half, the first few hours of your hunting trip are successful. You find no game in the plains, and that's when you hit the very light forest out there. All right. Then we hit the forest. I'll look for tracks for small game, like like foxes or other small wooden creatures. Set uh, some snares up and go mm -hmm. on hunting larger creatures. Yeah. Um. So, do you have a set snare? You don't have a snare snatching proficiency, right? I feel like that'd be part of hunting, though. Yeah, there is a separate. What is it called? Trapping. Uh, yeah, something to that effect. But is that more for that snares? trapping for like people or trapping for animals, though? There is a. Is it called set snares? It is. Yeah, there's a separate one for set snares. It goes for. Uh, to catch small game, they include rope okay. snares, spring traps, blah, 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 blah. And then there are, there's also something in here for like man sized traps. Okay. Uh, well. So maybe. Then I guess I don't. Yeah, maybe we will undo all that um, snare setting hunting kit. Because you need a uh, different permission, a different proficiency for it. Or if that's a proficiency you think you're going to pick up, then this would be a I great time to introduce it. I think it is a proficiency it. that I'm going to pick up. Okay. Um, it's a relatively stable source of income, so. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, um, for the time being, I'll try setting some stairs. Like, basically, this is just like, I'm just fucking with it, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, so a set snares proficiency is gonna be at... It's a, a wisdom minus one, but you're not proficient, so take half your wisdom and subtract one, and that is your roll. And round down. Unfortunately. Damn. No, but it was a shitty roll anyway. You can't ever succeed yeah. on a three. Uh, Unless I have an 18, so. Right, right. All right. Or so two I'll 18s. Just, yeah, or two. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll throw in another hunting check here. That's a yeah, good one. there you go. So it's while nice. you're setting the snares that you're trying to catch some small game with that you see what is a fun woodland creature that you could hunt. Turkey? Um, a turkey? Hmm? I saw a turkey yesterday. All right, you see a turkey. Oh, pigs. Yeah. Well, I kind of weigh my options. Like, I don't... Turkey feathers usually aren't very... worth a whole lot. Unless you wanted to make some arrows. Yeah, but I'm no Fletcher. Um... Fletching is different than carpentry, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll probably shoot it just for the food. All right, give me a shot. Uh, oh, we should determine your distance. Yeah, I got it. Ooh, it's pretty close. Yep. Um, it doesn't know I'm there. No, it's just. Perfect. Yeah, I'll take a. Take a shot at it. 18 will hit the turkey. Uh, roll me damage. Oh, hey, that moves. Oh, God. It's all right. It was a one HP turkey. It was a little scrawny. You know, it's get, <laughs> it's the middle of winter. The turkeys aren't doing too well. Uh, you get it through the neck and it falls apart instantly. Perfect. So we've got dinner. Mm hmm. And uh, I'll keep on hunting. Let's get some more shit. Nope. Nope. You spend a day in the woods, and it really doesn't work out for you. And you got to turn back and head yeah. home before it gets too dark. Um, we should also do a random encounter check, which is actually a success. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, I think he went out in the woods, but I went out at the same time with him. I should be out there chopping somewhere nearby. Yeah, I think you guys are more or less out there together. 
Yeah. I think I've got Vaughn out there and he's showing me which what kind of wood he needs to get there and I'm, yep. I'm making sure it comes down in the way he needs it and chop the right way. Absolutely. Need this limb or this tree? Just tell me what you need. Oh, this one over. So you're in the woods. You're taking a look at the trees that you're gonna need. The carpenter's telling you like, well, you know, we're gonna want something a little bit more sturdy than that, but look at these, you know, you're going through the whole yeah. thing. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. the hunter's out there searching for things, killing a turkey, looking around for other game. Um, <laughs> can I get a perception check from the two woods, from the, the lumberjack and the carpenter? Well, we know I'm gonna do very successful on this. Oh, we are. Uh, thanks. thanks. Yeah. Not thanks. successful enough. A 27 oh. isn't successful enough? No. Yeah. It's hiding. Your uh -oh. enemy has spotted you well before you spotted them, and they creep yeah. towards you. Hmm? What'd you say? Oh, I just said okay. Oh, I thought there was. My bad, my bad. Something else going Sorry, on. my mic might have cut. Hmm. Let me... Well, make some hand pointing at stuff, so... Yeah, you're just pointing at stuff. You're just doing things that you do, taking a look at trees. Mm -hmm. uh, I am just stalling a little bit while I bring up a combat map for us. I'm just chopping some trees and... You know, mm -hmm. Just lumbering the jacks. Yep. Just lumbering the jacks. Sawing away. I don't have any puns for woodsmaning. Uh, I'll work on them. I don't know any woodsman puns. Mm. <sighs> That's a good quality piece of wood right there, Joker. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's some quality wood. Quality. Yeah. Quality. She says. Good. It's firm. Some good, good quality hardwood. Uh, let's see. Poor, poor, uh, not Joker, what's your name? Jeb is not necessarily with the other two right now. While you guys are examining this, this big ass tree that's kind of in the middle of this clearing, two of you are, are chatting about it. Let's all take a look at the tree in the clearing. That'll make an excellent house for that one. I don't think I'll need to cut down much more for your wood needs. I should be able to pull everything we need off of this one right here. I think this one should be good. Yeah. This one should be just right. Absolutely. All right, That's well, fine. let's get to the chopping. Uh, and you do. You I get do. to the chopping. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> yep, as I chop into the tree. Your happens? axe hits home and it's fine. It reverberates in your ha hands, shaking your arms. Mm -hmm. um, chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. That is not as far as I thought they would do. All right, we'll just do the other attack instead. It's going, there's a, a flurry of movement behind you and leaping from a hidden location nearby is a giant trapdoor spider. <sighs> oh shit. Where's my spider tokens? I never have enough spider tokens, guys. What do you mean? <laughs> One One's enough. Well, I got an ice spider, and I've got a clockwork spider with a knife, and I got this guy. It's not quite the spider that I'm looking for. Well, you I don't, I don't but he's pretty spider. good. Huge. Yeah, he's a giant <laughs> spider. Uh, and which one of the two of you... Oh, well, it looks like Joka is deep underneath the branches of the tree, out mm -hmm. of the range of the spider, so it looks like... Vaughn is once <laughs> no. again the subject of our attacks. Sure. And uh, you're caught by surprise. You weren't expecting this thing to 
<laughs> leap out at you. Sorry, it's a dark I'm... and scary world, Vaughn. Get ready for it. Right. The spider hurls itself at you from its place in hiding. It okay. gets... We lost the background map, Neil. You lost the background map? Yeah. How do you see us in the spider? Oh, it, well, it, is it just me? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, I see the spider. He's blending in with that tree. Like, yeah. Oh, no, I was, it was all white for me. We're good. Oh, okay, it was cool. the roll 20 problem. Um, the spider will roll a... What is your AC? Uh, 15 with that uh, <gasps> 3 AC for fight armor. Yeah. <sighs> okay. What? Oh, it was just... It was really close to being a critical hit. Wasn't quite. <laughs> it was really close. Whoa, okay. All right. All right. The spider leaps through the air. It lands on your back, kind of shoving you okay. forward and into the ground. It does not spin uh -huh. webs. Da -da -da. Wait, that's the steer horn. Da -da 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 -da. And causes 2d4 damage per bite. It sinks its teeth into you for seven points of damage. Damn, son. Damn. Come and, on. my friend, you will need to make me a saving throw versus poison, because poison. these suckers the got right? some poisons. Yeah, this is, we're going to just okay. take something out of the books for a moment. Paralyze. Paralyze slash poison slash death. That's what I'm clicking on here. That's the one. Click. <laughs> one success. Nice. Oh, thank God. I didn't want to kill you twice in a row. Um, <laughs> oh, no, please. Go ahead. That's fine. That's oh, fine. well, if you insist, <laughs> then uh, let's roll initiative. Joka, you are alerted to the actions of the giant spider right next door. That's uh, true. You're quite aware of what's happening. All right. Where's my sheet? Oh, do I roll initiative? Because he's... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I was about to oh, lawyer yeah. again. <laughs> I was about to say, well, he's got me pinned. And he's got you pinned. He does. I'm doing the best I can for you, my friend. All right. And now <laughs> the question is where... How far away is Jeb? Now, I feel like if Jeb is properly hunting, he's going to be kind of far away. Oh, yeah, At the same time, this here. might be towards the end of the day. Let's say, Jeb, you'll be here in a couple rounds. Okay. In two rounds. Got it. Yeah, in two rounds. Uh, can we get an initiative roll for you? Oh, you did. It's you 11. Can... Okay, perfect. Okay. All right. The spider goes day. first. <laughs> <laughs> it's on top of you and it feels towards you and you can there's like this ooze dripping down on the back of your neck as the spider hand presses into your shoulder another one presses into the back of your leg and it's big fat spider thorax presses down on your hips kind of trapping you in place the ooze runs into your ear as the spider bites at you with a 14 to hit. It goes right for that section that's covered by your armor as it gnaws and gnaws at you, but to no avail. Joka comes running around the tree just in Jeb! time. Jeb! Ah, oh, sorry, I fucked it up. Six. Woof. The ax goes wide. The spider crawls back a little bit, you know, uh, to avoid the ax blow. Not enough that it is now taking opportunity attacks, but enough that it's just out uh, you know, it's dodging the blow. Okay, and cool. Vaughn. And I'm able to get up now because he mm -hmm. he moved back a little bit from that, right? Okay, yeah. cool. So I scramble to my feet, and with my sledgehammer, I am going to smack this thing as hard as I can. Uh, bang. Nice. 18 will hit the spider. All right, cool. All right, roll damage. Oof. Nine. The sledgehammer cracks into the animal's thorax. Uh, you can see it like bulge in, and it's just like weird spider goo starts leaking out of it. It is cri not quite crippled, but like badly, badly wounded. And we'll roll initiative okay. for next round. Okay. The spider hisses. <sighs> its legs twitch. Vaughn yeah, goes first cool. again. All right, I will hit it again. Uh, bang. 12 is not a hit. 
Your weapon swings high and wide over the spider. Who skirts around, trying to avoid you. Uh, now, you were the one who hit it last time, right? You did all that damage. So the spider is still on you. This other person, this Joka, uh, hasn't really threatened it yet. So it pounces one more time on Vaughn. With okay. in eight plus five is thirteen. It sinks its I've teeth been... near, but not quite to you. Cool. Joka. Jeb! Make it afraid of you. Jeb! Oh! oh! You are one shy of a critical hit. 16 Has sixteen AC. Oh wait, I might be looking at the wrong spider. No, armor class four, which translates to sixteen. Yeah. God damn. God damn indeed. But you hit it. Oh, do you hit it? Five. Takes five damage. The giant trapdoor spider is badly wounded now. It's at half HP. We're gonna roll initiative. Uh, you want me to roll in on this one too? I do want you to roll in on this one. Actually, Joker, don't you get two attacks this round, Mr. Specialized Fighter? Ooh, I sure do. Ooh. ooh. Actually, you both get two attacks this round. Uh, so the 15 is a miss. Mm, damn, and... I didn't do it first, Never mind. That's fine. And Azur? Uh, I will go. Uh... 16 is a hit, though. Sledgehammer, nice. the heavyweight, finds home on the spider for 13 damage, <laughs> crushing its head, breaking its compound <laughs> eyes as it collapses to the ground in a twitching, hissing fit of agony. Oh. That was a close one. Jeb! Come. Who the fuck is Jim? <laughs> what? What's going on? I, I heard you scream. Holy shit! It, it came out of nowhere, man. It's like the ground uh, itself. It, <laughs> it looks like the ground itself. Let's get the hell out of here. Wait, wait. I, I know we need to run from this, but well, maybe, maybe that wizard could use something from this. This ain't, this ain't no normal thing. This is, this is something. We this did something to it, but. Uh, maybe we can just drag this back and call it a day. I'm, I see you got a turkey, but I'm this. I mean, this is just dinner right here. That thing. I think we could get something from Mr. Fizzib. Might be poisonous. Maybe he can use the venom to create something, or I don't know. I don't know what they do. Oh no. Well, do you think there's any more of them in the hole? Do we need to kill any of its babies? Do, I don't want them to get big like this ever again. If we keep coming back here, we could just set. I think spiderweb is uh, flammable. If you guys yeah. want to set it on fire, by all means, go ahead and do it. I don't want to see another one of these things near me again, but uh, I agree. I don't want to go too far from anybody right now. That thing almost killed me. Mm -hmm. I agree. Well, let's, let's let's find its home to make sure there's no more. Yeah, let's let's not take too long. I don't want to go on a big old adventure of trying to find a spider home just to burn it down. Well, I don't it, feel like that's a good use of our time. It had to be close by. I mean, we didn't see it. We were walking around here, then it came out of nowhere. I mean, came out of nowhere. It's got to be close. Maybe you could kind of track it back to its web. Yeah, sure. Yeah. The yeah, it has a layer nearby. It doesn't have much of a web because giant trapdoor spiders don't really spin webs. But mm -hmm. back over here, just a little bit off screen, there is a burrow uh, situated right behind these logs back over here. All right. Um, uh -huh. And you can dig down into its burrow and find uh, goblins and kobolds wrapped up in small bits of web, because it doesn't spin big ones, but it still will wrap them up and then suck out their blood. Stores them mm -hmm. for Anything treats. Value in there? Let's find out. Giant spider might have some treasure. Might have some treasure. While this is going on, Vaughn just takes his uh, takes his uh, sledgehammer and kind of leans on it because he's very tired. He kind of kneels on the ground and he's just trying to catch his breath a little bit. Are you feeling okay, Vaughn? I know some of these are poisonous. You're, you're not feeling too ill. We don't need to get you back to town, are you? No, I don't feel ill. He just took a huge bite out of me, but I don't feel like uh, anything's wrong with me or whatnot. I don't think I've been poisoned, but uh, of let, course Let me I take can't. a look. Let me take a look at that. I'll come over and start poking and prodding. Don't see any venom really coming out. I think you're fine. I don't. I don't think it got Look you too. Okay. Good. Yeah, I, I think All you're right. fine. I don't think it put any venom in you yet. I think it was gonna save you for a snack for later. I think it had thought it already had you dead to rights. All right. 
There's no treasure well, thank you. in here. Damn. I'm Damn. sorry. Fuck. All good. Shit. It's right. worth a shot. All right, let's let's get this bad boy back to camp. I, I think I know a wizard who'd be awful happy to see us. Maybe. Well, if he's not happy to see us, then I, I think maybe you can put some of this poison on your arrows and we can move on with our day. Oh, we could do that. I don't... I don't know how to collect poison from a from a spider, but we could certainly try. Well, let's let's see if the wizard has any use first. Maybe he might. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's got a better way of doing this. Cool. Yep. So we'll take All right. this thing back home and have that. Yeah, we'll okay. uh, All right. You haul the whole spider back to camp. There are the three of you. Do you have rope with you? Yep. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got. <laughs> Good. I think everybody has their own rope. Fantastic. <laughs> then I've you can two. easily haul the spider back to base with the three of you, um, and you will arrive back in Tassel with a giant spider, and the wizard will see you hauling the spider in, and come right on over to watch you bring it into a good safe spot. And without even chatting with you first, like immediately goes over and starts inspecting eyes and fangs and like pulling at this or that. And then when you've caught your breath, says, ah, thank you. Thank you. I believe this is for me. Ah, uh, yes, indeed, Mr. Fizz, if we figured a spider this big must have some sort of use to you. Uh, we probably also collected like some of the spider silk on a stick. Mm hmm. That's perfect. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, we Figured. also brought this, so it looks like a big old cotton candy wrap. We brought some of this with us, too. Uh, don't know, it's sticky. It's kind of gross. Mm. But... He pulls the fangs out of the spider and said, these are uh, worth a silver each. Mm. And he will examine the creature Ooh. and will make a check. Where is my... Uh, it's a freshly killed spider. We, we just killed it this evening. Yeah, you can't get much more fresh than this bringing it back to you, I promise. This is the, the pinnacle of freshness. Unless you've, you were there with us when we killed it. Very true. You've done well, Joka. Well, I, I would say it's really more Mr. Vaughn here and his hammer. It did a good number on that on that thing. I'm sure the crushing blows versus its hard exoskeleton did a good job. I tried to swing as hard as I could. That thing damn near took my neck off my shoulders when it jumped on me. Yeah, well, we, sh we can't be surprised by those things, but uh, my hearing in my left ear isn't too good. As, as you'll notice, I'm not a very perceptive individual. I have noticed. I, I apologize. I didn't hear it either. It's it's one of my downfalls. I, the early in life problems. It's it's okay. The uh, wizard spider. takes a knife and carves into the spider's face. Uh, at first, sort of hectically slashing at it, like really cutting away at the flesh, and then a little bit more gingerly, and then like pulls back a section, holds it up with his elbow, and like carves out this big fatty gland in the back of it, uh, and wanted... smiles to himself. What is that that you're cutting at there, sir? So. Oh, careful, careful. This is its mm. poison glands. Oh, dear. Ooh, oh, dear. This is where the real hall is. The real hall. That thing was poisonous. Certainly. How much is something like that worth? Mm. And is, uh, is Vaughn here going to be all right? Yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. Like, that thing actually bit me. Uh, how, how, uh, well, if you were bitten more than 10 minutes ago, you'll be fine. If you were uh, bitten we... less than 10 minutes ago, I would say make your peace and wait. No, that was that was quite a while ago, quite more than, than 10 minutes ago. Are you saying it's, uh, it's probably... You should be fine. fine. You should be fine. Oh. All right. Sometimes All the... Right. Poison Where's doesn't get injected. Sometimes the body fights it off. What, what, what could how happen is injected. this, how lethal is this poison? It will naked. paralyze you. Um, if you are weak to it, 
you are hardy to it, it'll just simply slow you down. It's unlikely to kill you. Okay. Well, that's better than outright death. But Hell still. Relief. Yeah. Still quite terrifying. We should be careful in those woods. I can offer you um, a reasonable sum of copper, or I can offer you an exchange of services, which you may not have need of today, but may have need of sometime in the future. I promise you these services will be more valuable than the copper, but I understand the need for cold, hard cash now. Hmm. I could give you 800 copper for this. Hmm. Or... Now that is a lot of copper. Mm -hmm. Kind of sad. Uh, I am a wizard, a sorcerer, a mage. I can identify magical items, detect magic things here or there. There is always a particular need for a spell to be cast at some point, in some point in time. And usually these things are quite pricey. I would be happy to trade you a oh, two minor spells or one major spell as needed. Well, that is... That is, I think, we may not need it right now, but I think that is a very wise decision to make on our part. So, what do you guys think? I would agree. We have paid off our our dues for the month. I I think we could probably, this would be the only time I think this would work in our favor. Being owed a favor by a wizard is Mm. probably going to be something we need. Seems like, do, seems like he can do some pretty powerful magic for us, so I would be yeah. willing to take the magic. I don't know about you guys. Uh, Mr. Fizib, we will take you up on the uh, the favor. Good. I was hoping you would. Yes, I... We have enough cash for the moment to keep us settled. Excellent. Um, and I think with that, we will close out our session here. Uh, before oh. we do, I'll ask yes. you, if we do find more spiders, would you want us to bring them immediately to you? Yes. Certainly. Is there, is there any way you can show me what you need off of them so we don't have to bring the whole body back? I, I see that we've got one here, and I, I kind of watched you work there. Could you could you walk me through what you need? That way I might have a, a better time of, of doing it out in the field. And he, like, Sometimes pulls we're... back the head and points to where the poison glands were and goes, that is where they are. Um, But extraction is difficult. The gland is Mm. in a very thin membrane. Even the slightest mistake and it'll spill out all over the place. Should you have a cut in your hand or foot and it splash you, you could become infected. Uh, That would not be good. I see. So it should be relatively easy. Yes. uh, He will reach into his pocket and pull out uh, 20 copper coins and kind of pour them into your open hand if you Perfect. have one. Mm-hmm. For the fangs, of course. Yes, yeah, oh. so thank you. Of course, of course. All right, boys, we have 250 copper, uh, 20 in hand, and 230 with Mr. Garrett. What sort of supplies are we thinking we're going to need for the next time out? Um, we don't mm-hmm. have enough to buy more than one day of emergency rations for the four of us. Well, uh, uh, rations don't seem to be, the, the food and game here seems to be relatively plentiful so far. Be- yeah. Between you and me both, we haven't run into too much trouble yet. But okay. maybe, uh, maybe we could think on it. Maybe when Ebna gets back, we could we could ask for a new lead and see if there's somewhere else okay. we could go and a plan accordingly. Then, okay, I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, and I'll go. I need to buy some more arrows. Uh, I want to 
at least have enough that we can get in a prolonged fight, not just have a few of them. I understand. Mm -hmm. Is there is there a blacksmith in town we can go visit for those, or is this? Oh, Mister Garrett has some. No, okay. Yep, right, he's got a whole needs. box of arrows, flight and uh, I'm sorry, bodkin and broadhead, which he can yep. pass out as needed. Yep. Um, if I get ten, that brings us down to a hundred copper. If I get five, that's one seventy-five. Man, those are expensive. Yeah, they are. Fifteen copper pieces each. Mm -hmm. Ain't cheap. Nope. When you're, when you're a regular adventurer, it doesn't mean fucking nothing. It's like, yeah, I'll spend like gold. <laughs> sure. Fuck, I just throw money at these things. Yeah. But when you're broke Throwing as money. fuck, holy shit, arrows yeah, yeah, are expensive. Yeah. When, you haven't, when you haven't made that one big haul yet. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yep. Um, I think that's a worthy investment. That's that's. Yeah, you know. I'll get ten of them. Okay. I have a lot of stuff from, you know, Callum and things like that and dry rations and stuff, so. So, yeah. you said there's no blacksmith in town, right, Neil? Correct. Before we wrap up, sorry. Yep. Is it, was there a place for a blacksmith? I mean, once upon a time, smiths lived here, but their places are ruined now. Uh, if you want to explore the town, you can probably find the remains of the forge, although the anvil has been hauled away for loot by somebody else long ago. Right, I assume there's no tools, but I'm seeing if there's still like the forge and stuff set up or if it's... It would need major repairs, but there is a place that is sort of... That would be easier to remake a forge than to make it from the ground up. But you'd still yeah. need a lot of supplies. Okay, that's fine. I think that's where he's ending his day sitting in there thinking about it. These airs are so expensive. I wish this was working. Wish there was a way. Mm -hmm. Well, and maybe then, we uh, can come across some orcs that have arrows themselves and maybe maybe but if only there was a way just to work one here in town it'd be so much easier yeah. fortunately you need a, a Fletcher for that that is true a Fletcher I am not mm. well with um, that wood that we brought back before that spider jumped us I'll be able to make us at least a small makeshift house for us to uh, at least uh live out of when we're here but uh i don't know about constructing any forges or things like that or what a blacksmith would need they would have to talk about what they would need for that i understand mm -hmm. i understand yeah. i think i've seen some with uh bricks and things but i don't know they'd probably also need the materials to actually work and that would involve setting up a mine i don't know which of these eridonian towns were close to a mine or not but if we do find one. Hopefully it'll be a silver mine and, and Vaughn can help us out and know if it's still working or not or worth the time. Worth the time. Yeah, I've spent my time in there. So yeah, I could probably uh, figure something out for us if we find one. I, I know you don't particularly fond of going back into one, but no, just like to leave the options on the table. If it's for... Uh... It's for the good of uh, other people. I'll go in as many times as possible, but yeah, you're probably right about that. All right. I think this is where we wrap up for the day. It's a good spot. Uh, Ebner should be back shortly, and he can hopefully patch you guys up, or you guys can all rest up or whatever. And yeah. when we come back next week, we'll find out what Ebner was doing, because I have no idea, but he knows. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll tell us. Uh... Neil, just me. Oh? There we go. Um, just so you know, uh, I had removed the silver and gold that we had got uh, the last week. Mm -hmm. uh, even though we gave it to Garrett. Right. Um, I'm just so going to put that back in the hoard. Yeah, because we sent the gem home. Yeah, 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 that's a good idea. Um, last week you had gained twenty gold and forty silver oh, 40 and eighty silver. copper. Yep. Yeah, and cool. we had yep. sent back fifty of the coins, right? Yeah, we. Uh, the plan was, but figure, hey, we got the we got the gem. Let's keep those coins. Sure. So the yeah. all that stuff is still in the hoard. He's yeah. holding it in one of his lock boxes for you somewhere. Yeah. Perfect. I think what we can do with yeah, that haul, go to. Um, 
make our way around and eventually go to Stromheim and exchange, exchange 20 gold for 200 silver. And that's two months worth of taxes right there. That's true. We got to deal with the headless horseman, but yeah, sure can. I'm on board. Circumvent him. Eventually, we'll have to fight him, I'm sure. It'll mm. be great. Great times. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So this is great. You've got a few quest leads, and you've got maybe a couple of allies. It seems like you're making friends with this wizard person. There was a very friendly old lady that you met that could be an ally or an enemy, or maybe just best avoided and never even thought about again. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it looks like our heroes might actually make it through this. Maybe. maybe. If... <laughs> If uh, Va Vaughn could not be the first person surprised, attacked every time. But so far, it's okay. Yeah. Hey, you survived your first session. Congratulations. Hey, that's good. You yeah. yeah. survived. <laughs> you get experience this time. Uh, yay! Yeah. Yeah. All right. Experience that. That's All amazing. Right. Everyone gets to take home 833 experience. Nice. Sweet. Pleasure 10% if you get up. Plus 10% for uh, Vaughn and Joka. So nah, times one. I don't get it. You don't get it? Oh my God. Mm. All right, Vaughn, you and you alone get 696 experience because you're Wait, so you damn. Wait, what? what? How did David. it go down? What? You gave us it 800 was... and something a piece? Oh, no, no, it was 633. What? 633. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, did I say 833? I. Yeah. Apparently I can't read. Oh, that's fine. It was six that's three fine, three or six nine six for Vaughn. Okay, six nine six. Do I put this somewhere in my character? I'm sorry, this yes. is like the first time I've, yeah. I've gotten XP. Okay, cool. Uh, so, top of your character uh, sheet, there's a on, in the general tab on the character it. sheet. There's XP. Got it. XP six check nine six. Of... Oh, nine nine eight, Connor. Yo. Cool. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, and when you get to 2k vaughn is when you level so you're cool i don't know third of the way there yeah that's fine yeah mm -hmm. great good oh, perfect good beautiful well uh yes. that will be it for us where can people find you if they would like to see more of you uh, and why don't we start with tom tom where can people find you Hi, you can find me at uh, twitch.tv forward slash uh, my username, which is Azure Wind, uh, A-Z-U-R-E-W-I-N-D. Um, I play XCOM Iron Man Legendary uh, from Tuesdays through Saturdays. And then Sundays and Mondays are like my stream days off. So Sundays and Mondays I'm doing this or on uh, Monday I play a different game. Usually more often than not, I play a different game. Um, rather than not streaming at all. But yeah, that's what I do. At 6 p.m. Eastern is when I start most weekdays, and then 1 p.m. on weekends, and that's what I do. So I name people after characters in chat. Uh, I name characters after people in chat, and then we try not to get them killed. That's what we do. Excellent. Characters in chat. Well, I <laughs> chat is always chat. filled with characters. That is true. Yeah. True. Uh, uh, what about you, Will? If someone wants to see more of you, what do they do? Um, I stream from time to time in the evenings. Uh, it's my Twitch is Will Kills. Kills has three L's because I wanted to make it complicated as a child, and we did do that forever, and nice. we stuck to it. Uh, my stream in the evenings, off and on. I'm not really a consistent person at this time, but I pretty much play any random game that's on my mind. If something good just came out, we play that. If not, it's probably League, or I think I'm going to get into Black Ops again. I need a shooter. Someone's mm. got suggestions. Let me know. I need. I need something. Mm. Planet side too. I yeah yeah. I played that back about in the day. that game. That's the uh, orange that. energy game, right? Or yeah. am I thinking of a different one? Thinking of a different one. Oh, there's another game that's way worse. Hold on. Uh, Planet side two. I played when it was in beta, and then uh, I played it for like a year after it came out. That was, and I also played Planet side one. Uh, so those are really that game, game. Yeah. Even though it was in beta for a while it's still in fucking beta yeah yeah they they could have done such a better job with that game it's such a They're, promising con it like was that. i i put I way too many goddamn hours into that game which True. i loved it but they kind of killed it there were a lot of places where it's like they did one or two things and it's like their player base yeah. of, 
Oh yeah, I I like Planet Side One. I don't know if you ever played Planet Side One, but Planet Side One had a bunch of different continents, and you had your home continents, and that was your home territory. And so when people were invading your home turf, you felt like you were defending home base. But in Planet Side Two, everybody has a permanent base on every continent, yep. so there's oh, yeah. really a territory. So the meta game was a lot thinner in Planet Side Two. Anyway, sorry. sure, the meta game was a lot thinner, and especially towards the end, it just turned into two big zergs just like either going head to head and getting caught at one base for four hours or yeah. big zergs. Like, I don't want to do that. We're going to get lots of XP. And then they just go unopposed down a lane. And then they're yeah. like, oh no, they're taking our territory. They go back, push them back. And then these guys are like, oh no, they're pushing us back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I see. And that's what kind of, one of the things that turned me off to that game was sometimes that could go really in your favor, especially if it's like, the, when the two big zergs are clashing, like you go with like four other people, especially if you get in any sort of vehicle and you're like, I'm not going to be stupid. And you go be <laughs> not stupid because none of us is as dumb as all of us. Um, uh, take, a, take a galaxy full of like 16 people and crash it. Oh, no, not even that. Like usually what my friend and I would do, we'd either take a harasser around and harass them or take a tank and just hmm. kind of pick people off and whatnot. I'll have to look into it. I don't think I've played it before. I'm really waiting for the Halo remaster stuff to come out, but it's they won't give me a release date, so I don't even know what to shoot for yet. Mm, I'm looking sure. forward to that the most, though. Will you shoot for the head? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll always shoot for the head. <laughs> and, Connor, where can people find more of you if they're interested? Uh, I'm even more consistent in my streaming, streaming schedule than either of those two in that I don't stream, so mm. you've got that. Um. But, you but can if find they me. really wanted to find you, where would they find you? You can find, find you? me at work. And if you find me at work, I, I will be very concerned. <laughs> <laughs> I will be very concerned. Uh, uh, you can also sometimes find Connor on Shenanigans on Saturdays yes. uh, uh, yeah. on my channel. Saturdays. Yeah. It's good shit. And I'm Koivu. You can find me on twitch.tv slash Koivu or Koivu slash Koivu Zero at all the things. And I do D&D &D and more D&D &D and more D&D &D and then, you know, whatever other else. A little Total War here, a little bit whatever over there, some chit chat, some nonsense. That's about it. And that's it. Oh, you can find Mr. Mooten at Mr. Mooten yep. things. Yep. He was, um, uh, it was really good this episode, you know? Oh, it was yeah, like yeah. on point. Great party leader. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Very great role. Excellent. Yeah. I didn't find us arguing with him at all. It was it was wonderful. Mm hmm For sure. I didn't <laughs> I you know mean, I that's why we like put him in the hat so leader. much, man. It just is yeah. so good. It's great. I believe I mean, you can find with a hat like that, you can't not follow him. Right. It's true. I believe yeah. I believe you can find him at twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Mooten. Hmm. Hmm. He might be there. I also heard he he's mm -hmm. at uh twitch.tv slash Azure Wind. Sometimes yeah. so you should go find you should go there looking for him too. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> just go places and look for him. Absolutely. You just go Type into in Google, chat. hit some random things, whatever auto corrects to twitch.tv slash that is where you find Mr. Mooten. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right. That's it. For realsies now we're leaving. Uh, right. it's been fun. See you guys later. See ya.